Janicki able to get the head on that back in the box. Dennison with the, his first touch here early on. He was looking for Zavaleta, the defending national champion with the Hoosiers of Indiana. Now, of course, will not be back in his home state for a third year after scoring 18 goals in his sophomore campaign going pro. On loan from the Seattle Sounders, finds the ball at his feet. Yeah, Zavaleta, last game here for the Scorpions, as you said, on the loan from the Sounders of Seattle. Ball on the foot of Dennison, up and through. Hans Dennison with a Scorpions best four goals on the season. Absolutely beautiful play there. Ball played in from Savager to Dennison. Dennison saw Smith was off his line, shipped him, put the ball over the head of Smith, and a beautiful goal and a 1-0 lead for the Scorpions early on. Hans did not get the start on the road last weekend, came in in for the final eight minutes re relief and picked up the game winner. Made team of the week honors as a result. We'll hear in the opening eight minutes, Dennison strikes again. Yeah, Dennison doing a great job. Coach Tim Hankinson, he's told me, he spoke with Dennison lately saying, you're a goal scorer, you need to start scoring goals. And in the past two games, that's exactly what the Dutchman Hans Dennison has done. Beautiful goal to set it off right here for the Scorpions and to give them the momentum early here in the first half. Well, that's a defender who really has elevated his offensive game over this past month. Right now the push from Edmonton within 18. Butchko from the back side. He'll stay right on him. Volo gets no help from the hardware. We're even at one here early on. Absolutely phenomenal goal. Just a brilliant strike with the left foot. Puts it in the top upper 90 on that far side from Volo. Bounces off the post and in to the goal. Nothing Volo could have done there. An absolutely world-class strike to tie it up at one apiece. Neil Halavity able to find the equalizer. A beautiful shot. And there is nothing that Volo, who could have done about it, just the third goal he's allowed this season. They'll go on the road to Fort Lauderdale next weekend before coming back for a Thursday matchup on the 4th of July against the Carolina Railhawks. Dennison's header. The follow is good. Oh my goodness, what a play. Beautiful ball served into the box. Dennison heads it off the post. Ball comes right back to him. And Dennison, Johnny on the spot with, the, with his own rebound. And the score now, San Antonio 2, FC Edmonton 1. There is no flying that time around from the Dutchman. He did it from the seat of his pants. Exactly right. And you want to talk about great reflexes there from Dennison. Dennison, exuberant, celebrating with the crowd. A beautiful goal. Dennison with the great header went off the post, unlucky placement, but in the right place at the right time and able to tap that second rebound back in for the winning goal, or I should say the leading goal here in added time. Hans Dennison has the last three goals now for San Antonio, dating back to when he entered in the 83rd to check in with Coach Colin Miller. And Coach, your thoughts on how the second half unfolded? I'm devastated, the better team lost here. Um, I couldn't see San Antonio scoring. Uh, I couldn't see them scoring, to be honest with you. And I'm really disappointed to, to give it away at the end when we've created chance after chance and not hit the target. Um, but so proud of our players. I thought they were brilliant tonight. Coach, great game. You guys fought hard. How do you move on from this going back to Edmonton for your last game? Well, the way we have done every game, to be honest with you. We've been in every game. We've been fabulous away from home. We haven't sat back and waited to get beat. We were, as I said, we're the better team here tonight. Um, and uh, you know, I'm very proud of the players. We've, we're well established in the league now. Nobody will take this team lightly, that's for sure. And you know, we're missing some key players there tonight. And the guys that came in did a great job for us. And uh, very proud of the attitude. I'm just absolutely devastated that we've lost them. Coach, before we let you go, it's our first chance in San Antonio to see Lance Lang in person. He is so active for you out there on the pitch, and I know he's been like that for you all season long. Yeah, he's done okay for us for sure, and uh, he's certainly improved defensively. Uh, from when he first arrived at the club, we've worked very hard with Lance defensively and he, he's always got the tools to go forward so there's no question about Lange going forward. Uh, the problem that we had at the start was uh, defensively could he do the job and, and, the, and the lad is buying into what we're, at, what we're after. Well coach, best of luck back home against Minnesota this upcoming weekend. Thank you. Again that is head coach Colin Miller, the first year head man for FC Edmonton and while he devastated, exchanges handshakes with Tim Hankinson, you imagine the response from Hank will be a little different here as his Scorpions did what was asked of them. They pick up the full three points, and it's a, it's a guy we mentioned at halftime, Hans Dennison now, a stellar 90-plus minutes where he has the last three goals for your club. That's very exciting. He's playing great football right now. 
you know, he, he has gone in and out of a, a playmaking mode, a very creative guy. But right now we need goal scorers, and it's great to see him push towards the goal instead of dropping back. And uh, the guys who came in, uh, you know, Brian Jordan and Walter and Lyle all brought, brought explosiveness, more dynamic play. Basically, they have a 4-4-2 against our 4-4-2, and it seems like the first half we're just staring across the field at each other uh, in the same spots and not doing anything to challenge their decisions. And so we, we try to mix it up a little bit in the second half, and I think it uh, helped open the door for us. Coach, you didn't start Hans Dennison last week, came off the bench, scored the game winner. How do you think that has affected his mentality going into last week's game and tonight's match? Well, you know, a, a striker is judged by his productivity to goal. And uh, he's been going through a long stretch of, of a goalless games. And even though he's a wonderful player and the fans love him, you know, it's about being productive. And, and finally, he, I think it's gotten in his head that he's got to go out there and put the ball on frame. Doesn't mean you're going to score every night, but you've got to be dangerous. And tonight he was dangerous and effective. A uh, healthy lineup, but Eric Zavaleta is still able to crack your starting 11. I know it's the final game for him. He's scheduled to go back to Seattle. Just your thoughts on the future of this uh, young 20-year-old. He, he's a great target player. He's got to get a little bit more dangerous and savvy, going to goal to get his shots off. But target play to bring players forward, he's very good, great work ethic, great great attitude. It won't be the last our fans see of him. Uh, we're talking to Seattle now about him rejoining us uh, in the near future. And so uh, it's all about his development and how he can help them and how he can help us. And uh, we'll find a balance in that. Well, Coach, best of luck on the road at Fort Lauderdale. We'll see you on the 4th of July here against Carolina. Look forward to it. Take care. Again, head coach Tim Hankinson always.